Good day teachers and welcome sa ating DO21 series of 2023-2023 Brigada Escuela Implementing Guidelines. Alright, by the way, kapag gusto nyo yung mga forms na nasa video earlier, pwede nyo yung ma-download. Meron tayong link sa description sa video na ito. Pwede nyo ma-download yun kapag wala pa kayong mga Brigada forms. Okay, so for today, let's have a... Uh, you know, just few some reminders, few reminders from the 2023 Brigada Escuela Implementing Guidelines. Kasi merong ano dito. Okay? So, unahin natin dito na ang Brigada Escuela, as we all know, will start from August 14 at saka matapos in August 19 this year. At saka alam naman natin na this Brigada Escuela this year will be only six days okay it's a six day event okay sino sino ba yung pwede nating itap local communities parents alumni civic groups local businesses non-governmental organization private individuals even teachers and students volunteer their time and skills para sa pag clean up mag repair maintenance sa ating mga classroom so, ano ba mga reminder from the DepEd Secretary para sa Brigada Escuela School Year 2023-2024? So, sa pre-implementation stage na wala pa yung Brigada uh, mismo, assessment of physical activities maintenance needs of the school. Sino ba ang gagawa dito? Of course, it's the school facilities coordinator who will identify sa mga needs para sa ating upcoming na school year of the opening of classes and assess the school facilities and assess the school facilities that require repair or replacement. So, makat makatulong dito sa atin yung SWT at saka yung PTA natin. Then, pangalawa, very important, compliance with the absolute prohibition on solicitation. Again, Bawal ang mag-solicit. Ang school heads, teachers, and other school personnel are strictly. So, the memo, this order is very clear. It's in bold letters. Strictly prohibited from soliciting or collecting any form of contribution. Okay? Galing doon sa mga parents or guardians, volunteers, partners, and the stakeholders. So, ang Brigada Escuela Activities will only focus on voluntary work and participation to ensure that the schools are adequately prepared for the upcoming school year. Alright? Then, ano pa? Be prior to the implementation, the coming of August 14 to 19, creation of Brigada Escuela Working Committees. Again, this is voluntary. Who will create the committee? It will be the school heads or the principal. Ano ang gawain? What's the function of the committee? Conduct extensive public awareness campaign. So, information dissemination of your advocacy materials, conduct of awareness campaigns na magbirigada na. So, that's the use of the committee. The second establishment of partnership for resource mobilization. Okay. Then, three, the program implementation itself. Then, number four, handling of administrative and financial matters kung merong nag-donate. Then, number five, of course, documentation. Okay? Then, we have suggested matrix here para sa mga stakeholders like provincial, municipal, city government units. So, anong pwede nilang magawa nandito para sa nature of engagement nila? We also have the barangay, government units, ano ang kanilang pwedeng matulong. So, nandito rin yan. Then, private partners or individuals, meron din dito. So, you can just read that. We do it. No? Then, local NGOs and volunteers. And of course, kasali din yung mga parents natin. So, that's for the pre-implementation stage. Punta tayo sa implementation stage. So, ito yung mga suggested activities natin. Okay? 
Again, one more time, as a matter of policy natin, all works and tasks performed under the Brigada Escuela are voluntary in nature. So for day one, ano ba yung dapat sa GSL activities? Kick off. Presentation of major activities, projects to be done. Organizing, briefing of the working teams. Presentation of Brigada Escuela plan. It can be done on the day one, that is August 14. Then, registration of partners, receipt of donations, repair, repainting, rehabilitation, debriefing activities, closing program for the sixth day. So, that's for the implementation. For the implementation, second is maintenance of clean school. Okay, school shall ensure that school grounds, school and its walls, uh, or facilities are clean and free from all vandalism, unnecessary artwork, decoration, stars, etc. Then for uh, post-implementation stage, okay, number one, ano ang gawin ng committee? Preparation and submission of accomplishment report to sustaining Brigada Escuela. So throughout the year, it must be sustained. Then number three, we have also here service credits or compensatory time off. So lahat ng mga teaching personnel, shall be entitled to earn vacation service credit, okay? Meron tayong service credits that is only for the maximum of 6 days kasi yung brigada naman natin is only 6 days, okay? Then, importante din to, recognition and appreciation of partners. Importante, the usual search for best implementing school awards, hall of fame awards, and the Brigada Plus at the national level shall no longer, it's in bold letters, to be part of the program. So all, uh, you know, all the activities, as mentioned, it will be voluntary, uh, no search for best implementing schools whatsoever. So this is less pressure to the teacher because school heads naman, medyo minsan, especially to solicitations, para mas malaki yung malikom na pera, minsan mga resources, they put uh, pressure to the teacher. So, again, uh, any issuance of regarding awards and recognitions are rescinded already. So, true to the spirit of volunteerism and or bayanihan, Brigada Escuela shall be veer away from any form of competition. It's encouraged and strengthened cooperation and collaboration among education stakeholders. Alright, so wala na po tayong recognition. But of course, it can be done at the SDO or district or school level para doon sa appreciation. And for SDO, the chair will be the SDS with the SGO D chief and the senior education program supervisor for social mobilization and networking. Then recognition of partners at the regional level, the chair will be the regional director together with the SSD chief and regional partnership focal person. Okay, so sa school, for public schools, it will be the school principal, you know, who will head all the activity uh, for the school. Now we know it, the principals do it. Then for the volunteers, reminder that it should be the volunteers shall be coordinated with the schools and assist the Brigada Escuela activities. The teachers also. Uh, you know, teachers knew that. And of course, the SSLG and the SELG. Ano, bakit naman ito? Okay. Sige. Dapat hindi na SSG or SPG. Dapat it should be Supreme Secondary Learner Government and Supreme Elementary Learner Government. Anyway, so yan lang ang mga reminders natin for Brigada Escuela 2023. So, thank you so much. And... Magbrigadahan na tayo. Have a nice day, teachers. Bye-bye.